what is going on, y'all. So, simps hurt themselves, man. You feel me? They destroy themselves. They destroy the chicks that they with by spoiling them to death, giving them stuff they don't deserve. They spoil it. For, they destroy it for other men. You know what I'm saying? They just destroy it for the whole ecosystem. They just destroy the whole ecosystem, man. They destroy it for humanity. <laughs> you dig what I'm saying? And I'm going to tell you how they do it. First, this is Tarek Talks. I'm Tarek. I'm going to be talking my shit. So check me out. Like, comment, subscribe for more men's health, dating, and fitness discussions. Join me. Okay. So the way that these simpletons, and first of all, let me clarify what a simp, quote unquote, simp is. So we don't have a misconstrued. It's basically, long story short, a guy who gives everything, his heart, energy, resources, and time for a chick who did none of the above at any point, at any time, and she's disrespecting him. So basically, it's like this. It's like going to a job and you're putting in your hard blood, sweat, and tears for this company. And let's say you, you're a waiter at a restaurant. You're serving all these busy tables, uh, tables of 20 people, tables of families and shit. You're working 12 hours. Then at the end of the shift, you give your manager the money. They don't pay you. You give you give the manager his the, your money. You see what I'm saying? And then you beg for more. You're like, man, I can't wait to go back to work, work hard as hell, and then give my manager all my money at the end of the day. That's basically what a simp does, right? And I'm sorry, you feel me? Fellas, this isn't meant to be malicious. I'm gonna let the window down a little bit. This ain't meant to be malicious. This is not meant to be like no kind of knock on anybody. You understand what I'm saying? This is just telling y'all what to avoid, how to avoid stuff like that. And that's how Sims destroy themselves because they just have no value in themselves. They abuse themselves. They go back for more for a chick that is unappreciative, a chick that does not appreciate anything he does. And they give her their all. You know, these these guys will cash app chicks hundreds of hundreds of dollars. And then this chick acts like she's too busy to even see him. And when she is with him, basically all it is is a plutonic ass date. Because this guy, the, the, the simp I'm talking about, it was too scared to ever let her know he's romantically interested, right? So he's going along with this whole friendship thing. And she's using him for for uh concert dates or movie dates or shopping you know and this guy's willingly and happily doing all of this like it's in our nature fellas as men to provide and to give we feel good doing it but this trait is exploited by no good ass broads right these broads know that they can exploit men they can exploit weak men at that OK, they can exploit weak men because they know these guys have the desire to give their all and ask for nothing in return. So they exploit this trait in us. The only type of woman that you should be given anything to is a young lady that deserves it. A young lady that respects you, a young lady that's on time, that actually enjoys being in your presence, that's actually showing you interest, that actually wants to be intimately with you. Let me tell y'all something, guys. When you're with a young lady that likes to be intimate just as much as you, like, it's crazy. Like, the the, the intimacy is crazy. When she when she's just into it as you are, and you guys are, are you know, getting intimate, it's, there's nothing, that, you know what I'm saying? There's nothing like it as far as chemistry goes. But, but a lot of simps, they settle for these chicks that are half-assed, these chicks that kind of flake on them all the time, that only use them when it's necessary. And these chicks be having like another guy in the background that's actually doing them, that's actually piping them, right? And they're feeding you little breadcrumbs just to keep you around. And you wondering like, man, when is this ever gonna go into anything? And she keeps giving you, you know, answers like, well, you know, I'm not ready yet and all that. Man, that girl, she not ready for you. Cause trust and believe, at 10 p.m., she's ready for, for that guy to come through at night. Or she's going to his crib, okay? So, Sims destroy themselves, man. They they keep going back for more. They're, they're masochists. They like being 
tortured. They like they there's actually some men out there believe, believe it or not, fellas, I kid you not. They like being mistreated by women. It's it's damn near a mental illness, bro. It's damn near a mental illness. These guys will cash app chicks. They will give their all in hopes that it'll ever go anywhere. Never does. And they're still hooked on this chick. It's like an addiction. It's like in their head. And let me, let me tell you some simps are weak men. No man in his respectable right mind that respects himself will let a chick string him along. And he's paying for this. He's given her all his He's giving her all his time. He's FaceTiming her two hours a day. He's on the phone with her at night listening to her problems. And to make things worse, this chick will actually complain about the guy that's doing her. Right? This is the most messed up part. And, and the simp, you feel me, is going to be on the other line like, oh, you deserve a good man. You deserve, you deserve someone like me. And she's like... Mm -hmm. Yeah, you are a good guy. But anyways, Larry was beating me and, and you know, he cheated on me and stuff. And the simp is sitting there like, wow, I'm 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 the one. I'm going to rescue her. And this chick is steady. Keep talking about the same guy over and over again. She keeps talking about how he abusive and how he cheats and how he doesn't pay her no attention. And to be honest with y'all, fellas, a lot of times... Believe it or not, the guy that she complaining about, she making him sound like a bad guy. He might not even really be that bad of a guy, to be honest. He's probably not even that bad of a guy because I've dealt with, with females that talk about dudes and I knew the guy personally. He was just a regular dude. You feel what I'm saying? But he, you feel me? The thing about him was he really wasn't trying to be with her like that. And she was obsessed with him. He he kind of was doing his own thing. You know, he he was a good looking dude, uh, athletic. You feel me? He had a, a, a physique. And I'm talking about the guy that I knew personally. This is one of them. Right. And he just had a lot of female attention. He had like three baby mamas. So that should kind of give you an insight about how he was. He was cool as hell, though. And when in my so-called simp days, I was talking to this chick and I was really into her. I was like really into her and she kept talking about uh her her baby daddy. He wasn't her baby daddy at the time. <laughs> he he was in the future, surprise, surprise. But he would she would be complaining about him and in my head I'm like, yeah, I'm the right guy for her. And at, at one point, like I said, man, in my previous and other previous videos, even when I was beta, at some point I'm like, okay, this chick ain't benefiting me none. I'm just gonna leave her alone, right? I had some type of self-respect for myself. And guess what? As soon as I stopped talking to the chick, we'll call her Susie. The one I was complaining about her so-called abusive ex and, and how he was being so harsh to her and stuff. As soon as I let her go, I met my now son's mother. You feel me? And the chick Susie got mad at me, even though she wasn't trying to give me the time of day. You feel me? But I had some kind of self-respect to be like, look, Susie, all she do is use me to talk about her ex, her uh, her man, or or whatever the hell, what what that benefited me at some point? I'm like, bro, I'm not I'm not finna sit here and, and listen to this. I want to get some play. I want to be intimate with a chick. You can go do that with somebody else. And I moved on. Like I said, I met plenty of of chicks afterwards. After I stopped talking to her, one of them being my son's mother. Right. So simps, you guys block your blessings by talking to a chick that has no kind of interest in you. You're focused on this one chick. You cash app in this one chick. You taking this one chick on all these trips, all these vacations, buying her this from the mall, buying her that from the uh, dinner, fancy dinner place, Cheesecake Factory or Ruth Chris or wh whatever the hell. And she not she not giving you any kind of play. You are blocking your own self from finding a chick that does like you, that does want to be intimate, that does want to take things to the next level. Right. And let me tell y'all something, fellas. A lot of these chicks that use men, simps, are low self-esteem broads. So it's a low self-esteem dude and a low self-esteem chick. They're going hand in hand. Uh, he's being manipulated. She's getting all the perks of feeling like she's worth something. 
because her self-esteem is so trash that she has to use a man to make herself feel better. So it's, it's two trash people involved with each other, okay? It is what it is. Anyway, with that being said, man, let me know what y'all thought about the video. Like, comment, subscribe. Peace.